In the first half of 2023, the German authorities allowed the supply of weapons to Kyiv for more than 1.5 billion euros, 1.65 billion euros, which automatically made Ukraine its largest recipient. Such data were provided on July the 4th by the Minister of Economic Affairs and Climate Protection of Germany. Hungary, a member of the EU and NATO, turned out to be the second particularly large recipient of German weapons. It received just over a billion euros worth of defense products. In the first quarter, Hungary was still in the lead, so the main increase in approved supplies for Ukraine fell in the period from April to June. And they will continue to increase them because German technology in terms of some parameters of the nomenclature of weapons will most likely become the main one for Ukraine for many decades to come. Moreover, in the context of the general militarization of moods in the world and the fact that many countries are revising their security policies, the arms market in the world will grow. According to experts, now the German defense industry has become five times more powerful than before the start of the Russian war against Ukraine. Previously, many German defense enterprises were idle. For example, the Leopard tank repair and reactivation shop, it simply did not work. They exist, but they do not work. They didn't have enough engineers, technicians, mechanics or enough equipment, because there was simply no request for it. No one needed it. According to analysts, Germany ranks second in arms supplied to Ukraine. In general, between February and May of this year, Ukraine received half as much assistance as promised, according to a report by the Kale Institute for the World Economy. The experience of the Ukrainian military is bringing Ukraine closer to NATO. Federal Chancellor Olaf Scholz says that the Ukrainian troops act very clearly and in an organized manner in the battles with the Russian occupiers. He noted the importance of great practical support for Ukraine from NATO, which will continue further. Many countries will be able to provide assistance for one, two, three and, if necessary, even more years, because we don't know how long the war will continue. Britain and Poland supported a simplified procedure for Ukraine's accession to NATO, similar to the one that was used for Sweden and Finland. The alliance has spoken clearly and with one voice. We made uh, the statement at Bucharest that Ukraine's future is within NATO. Uh, the timing for that uh, was uh, never tightly defined, but what we have seen over the last 16, 17, 18 months is the Ukrainian armed forces evolve, adapt and modernize at an incredible rate. They are now very experienced in the, ut in the utilization of NATO standard equipment. NATO doctrine and NATO uh, tactics. So ho however long it might otherwise have taken Ukraine to join NATO, their actions will inevitably have shortened that time scale. The armed forces of Ukraine are waiting for the delivery of 15 artillery systems. Turkish self-propelled guns in Ukraine will oppose Russian similar Mstar-S systems. Deliveries of more advanced weapons such as US-made F-16 fighter jets and long-range missiles will help Ukraine not only level the battlefield but also control the Grain Corridor in the Black Sea. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky considers the supply of long-range artillery, including attackers missiles, to be a priority. Russia has an advantage on the ground, after all, it has long-range weapons. This is firstly. Therefore, Atacams are very important. Will it accelerate our steps forward? Yes, 100%, because in some areas it will simply give us the opportunity to start the offensive. In some areas, we could not even think about any steps forward, simply because we do not have the appropriate weapons. And leaving our people to be killed by Russian long-range missiles is not human. We won't do that. Therefore, Atacams are a priority. Finland will supply Ukraine with more military equipment too. The new aid package included anti-aircraft weapons and ammunition. Reported by Diana Kulesnik, Viktoria Smirnova, UATV News.